In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create and use dynamic named ranges here in Google Sheets. I have an example data set right here where I'm going to try and use my named ranges to get the total of my sales and returns. I'm going to use and compare fixed name ranges with our dynamic named ranges. Let's start by naming our ranges. So first, what you're going to do is to select the range that you want to name, then right click on it. Go to the bottom and select view more cell actions on the right you'll see define name range click on it and you'll have the name ranges right here on the right another way to do that will be to just go to data and select named ranges and it will open the same panel to the right so now that we've selected a range let's name it right here go ahead and pick any name that you want for your range i'm just going to call this one sales then press enter and you've successfully named that range right here. Let's do the same thing with our second range for our returns. So select that range. Then you can just go ahead and click on add a range right here while our name ranges is still open. So click on that. And again, put a name for that range. Let's just call it returns. Press enter and there it is. So if I were to use it in my formula, let's say for the sum function, I'm going to type my formula right here. So that's equals sum. Select that. Now you can just use the name ranges right here to reference for your range. So the first one, we have sales. And as you see, as I was typing it, it has given me a suggestion of that named range. So if I click on it and press enter, there is a total for that range. Let's try our returns. So again, start with the equal sign, type in sum, type in the name of your range. And again, here it is. Here's the suggested named range. If I click on it and press enter, here we have the total of our returns. Now, what if I have more data to input on my range right here? So let's have more sales to input. Let's say, an amount of 1000 as you see there's nothing that has changed in our total right here the same with our return let's say if i were to add more right here with the amount of 500 press enter and nothing happens to our totals right here because again these ranges are already fixed they will not recognize any new data after the cell that has been registered or that has been selected in the range. So how do we fix this? What we can do is to create a dynamic range by selecting the entire column right here. In order to do that, what we're gonna do is to click on this column right here, column C, which will select our entire column. Go to add a range again on the right. Then you can rename that entire column to whatever you want. So let's say we'll do sales dynamic press enter and there's your dynamic named range let's do that for our returns so this time we're going to select column f again to select the entire column right there then go back to add a range on the right rename your range returns dynamic press enter and there it is let's try and do our same formula right here but this time with our dynamic named ranges, type in sum, type in the name of your range, and here they are. So we have two named ranges now. We have our fixed one and our dynamic. So to select the dynamic one, we are allowing all new entries to be added into our formula right here. So if you select that and press enter, there it is the formula or the range has now recognized the newly added sale of one thousand dollars if we add another one let's say two thousand and there it is this new range right here recognizes all new data that has been entered into that column let's try and do that with our returns so that's equal sign sum type in the name of your range and again we're going to select the dynamic one and press enter and there we have it so we already see the difference in the numbers here because we've added the new one which is the five hundred dollars if we are going to add another one let's say a thousand there we have it 
it will be able to recognize it because again this entire column is selected so whatever we add right here will be recognized in our formula and that's how to create and use dynamic name ranges here in google sheets thanks for watching if you found this video helpful do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos see you on the next one